Here we are looking at SRGE, did this one uh, late last week and had some uh, questions on it and wanted to get things updated here as the chart uh, has had a pullback here. Um, so we just want to go over a couple things and really kind of just to start things off, does the chart look like you would ideally want to see it? Not necessarily, especially after it had this nice upwards move here. I'm sure people are hoping for a little bit more of a follow through, but is the chart completely dead and has it lost all hope? You know, absolutely not. Uh, so that's kind of what I want to go over and point out what's been happening with the chart. Sure, it's not the most exciting thing, but from a trend perspective and an overall perspective, uh, you know, it is still acting bullishly and it is still in the bull's hand. So, um, like I said, although not the best action here in the short term and the overall picture, uh, things are still looking bullish. So let's just hop right in. And on that note, what I want to point out is uh, first thing, just simply looking here at the 50 day cent moving average which is that purple line still got a strong upslope to it hasn't been tested since way back here on uh, September 17th where the price came down here bounced and then you know hasn't looked back ever since uh, you've had you have had pull pullback excuse me obviously but didn't even come close to testing and then this pullback you still do have a little bit of room before you would even test that key um, level the other thing I want to point out is, um, and this will probably st uh, sound pretty evident and obvious, but higher lows is the name of the game. That's what you want to see. Uh, so after this initial move here, you can see right there, that was low number one, and then it pulled back. Here was low number two before making its next big move upwards. And so far, today's low hopefully will be low number three. And as you can see, each one of these lows are higher than the previous one. And that's what you want to see because as long as you have the higher lows, you're going to be in an uptrend. And the reason I think and like the uh, possibilities of this being the new low is if you look at the type of candle, nice spinning top. Um, and if you you know understand candlesticks or whatever, if not, just do some research. But a, a spinning top candle uh, does symbolize a potential bottom. It's not a guarantee, but it does uh, require confirmation. But nice little candle here, and hopefully that'll be the new low. But again, in the in the broad scheme of things still in an overall perspective or uptrend um, and that's just given simply by looking at the increase here in the 50 day cent moving average so hopefully this will be the new low here at uh, 004 but if not you still have plenty of supports down here at 0032 then you have your uh, 50 day cent moving average right here also so um, short term i'm sure people would like a little bit different action but in the overall grand picture of things the bulls are still holding on so that's where the chart currently stands uh, hopefully that helped if you do have any other questions on it, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. With your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, chart ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stock. So there's a good variety of stuff for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One more time, this was SRGE. Thanks for listening.